about this. This is very vintage. We're going to talk about a VW van that is a photo booth. My guest is Jeff Jordan. Thank you so much for coming on. Jeff Gordon, I That's should say. Right. Sorry about that. That's right. um, how did you come up with a VW that uh, has a photo booth in it? Where did you start? Were you in corporate world and then you just decided to do this as, as a uh, job? Well, it is a, it's a long, circuitous journey that got me to having a VW bus with a photo booth in it. Um, but uh, I'll start by saying I'm a good thief when it comes to ideas like that. I didn't necessarily come up with it, but I saw somebody else doing it. Um, and uh, it, I just knew that it would, it would be a hit. So was this after a second life? That you graduated college, you did something else, and then you decided well, to go into this business? Yeah, I had been in campus ministry for about 15 years doing spiritual development mm -hmm. with college students. I worked at Brown University and Boston College. Bryant University, um, and Bryant was the last assignment that I had, and they, about that time I started to figure out, I think I'm ready for a change. So uh, they're a four-year business school, they have an MBA program, which I enrolled in, um, and didn't necessarily know what I was going to do, but I knew I wanted to run my own business, and people would ask, what do you think you want, <laughs> what kind of business, and I said, I don't, I really don't think it, I care. I just want to have my own. So you own. didn't have a plan? No, I did not have a plan. Um, although there, I had a friend who was renting photo booths in St. Louis. Uh, and he was a friend that I knew from college. And in college, he was a photo booth artist. So he would go into photo booths, sneak into them, and bring a whole bunch of interesting props, and then create art in these old wow. dip and dunk chemical processed photo booths. Um, and so when he got married, he bought his own photo booth because you couldn't rent them. This was, you know, mid-90s. And since he had the photo booth, he started to rent it out. And before too long, he was doing about 300 weddings a year just wow. in St. In, Louis. In an old VW van? No. With no. an old vintage style photo booth. <laughs> See, I told you it was a circuitous you, yeah, you, route. You took it one step further. Yeah. So I... Uh, when I left business school and I left campus ministry, I said, can you set me up with a photo booth? That was the fall of 2008, and there were no corporate jobs to be had. So, um, so yeah, he, he was like, all right, you can be my first licensee of Photo Booth Planet. So he set me up with a photo booth, an old vintage style machine, uh, and I was on my way. So I'd been doing this for about... I've been doing it now for eight years, and I had been doing it for about five years before I got the photo booth, the photo bus. We call her Chloe, the VW photo bus. Let's take a look at Chloe, bus, shall yeah. we? Driving around our parking lot. Um, love the color. Where did you find Chloe? Uh, the color actually is seafoam green. Love that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and Chloe, we, we found Chloe in Laguna Beach, California. Um, she had a former life as a surf bus. And she would drive all over, uh, taking surfers um, to the beaches. And when I found her, she was in the process of being rebuilt and having the inside done up the, exactly the way it is now, with all the wood and maple and uh, the cool bench. And so it just happened to be perfect for what I was trying to do uh, in terms of making it into a photo. Did a photo you booth. retrofit this yourself or did you have somebody do it or how, how the did The guy happen? who I bought it from was in the process of having it re redesigned in, in the interior. So he and I kind of collaborated on some of the design elements because he knew what I was trying to do. Uh, I put that cabinet in um, and all the photo booth equipment, obviously. So about five years in, I knew I needed to do something to set myself apart because there were so many other photo booth companies at mm -hmm. that point. When I first got in, in 2008, I was really the only photo booth company around at that point. Now you got competition. Point. Now there's a ton of competition, um, and I knew I needed to do something that pushed me further into kind of the, the premium space because we have the old school vintage style machines, and there's a lot of other photo booth companies that... They do an approximation of a photo booth with a, a camera and a printer and stuff, but it's not like a machine that you get in and pull the curtain and sit down on a bench and push a button, like the old, you know, Coney Island style boardwalk machines. Um, so a friend of mine was doing this in Vermont, 
Uh, and I'd seen, early on, I'd seen somebody doing it in, Sa in Kansas City, and I just didn't feel like the timing was right. But he, he was doing a great business in Vermont, so I found Chloe. Are you loving this now? This is your job. You go to it's weddings, all I do. Yep. events, corporate things, yep. I would think. I tell my kids that Daddy delights people for a living. <laughs> I delight them. Speaking of which, this is what happens inside mm -hmm. the van when people take advantage of this for a, a wedding or an event. In this case, this happens to be folks from Channel 8 that got into your van. Right. You push a button and it takes three shots, correct? Yep. Hit the button, pose three times, prints out duplicate photo strips. So at a, at a wedding in particular, the guests would take their photo strip as a favor. The other one goes into a photo guest book right there. You just saw that we assemble, we provide the book, we assemble it right there on site. Um, so the, the bride and groom or the client goes home with that awesome keepsake with all the pictures and nice messages that the guests have written them. Uh, and the guests go home, we, we, we tell our clients that we hope they go home with a big stack of photo strips. What do you think is the next step for, for Chloe? Because you're going to have to always be ahead of your competition. Yeah, so know. what's what's next? Somebody said maybe I should have a photo boat. <laughs> <laughs> and this uh, and, and you can make enough on this to make a living. Oh yeah, this is all I've done for eight years is rent photo booths for weddings and events. How many events are, are you going to a year? Um, between 100 and 150 events. And you're based in Rhode Island. I'm based in Mystic, Connecticut. In Mystic, Connecticut. Right. Yep. All I right. do. I can't. I was in. Uh, I'm moved from Providence to Mystic, which is where I grew up I uh, in 2008. So it all kind of started around the same time. Did you ever think you'd go from the ministry to, to this? You know, I have always had kind of an entrepreneurial streak, and my parents are very entrepreneurial. So it was in me to to want to have my own, my own gig. Um, and I also, you know, I think I just... Um, I get bored easy, <laughs> so mm -hmm. I was looking for a change and looking for something new to do. Uh, and well, this is all about happy. It's all I'm about happy. photos. I make people happy. Yeah. Um, and uh, I actually did have a photography background. I used to work for the Daily Campus at UConn as a staff photographer. I worked for the Mystic River Press as a photographer when I first graduated from college, and I'd, I'd done some weddings too, um, and. Uh, and just enjoy photography so it fit in into that that uh, niche. Jeff, are people coming to you now and want to license? I mean, do you, could they license from you? They can. Um, the per Tim, the guy who was the photo booth artist who set me up as his first licensee, two years into it, he got bored and said, "Do you want to take this thing over?" And I said, "Yeah," because I was paying him commissions, and I, so I. I I, I bought Photo Booth Planet from him, and then signed up five of my friends. So I have a we have a Photo Booth Planet licensee in Vermont, one in New Hampshire, one in Boston, one in New York City, and one in Philadelphia. Wow. But we set you up with all that equipment, um, and I'm you've got lifetime tech support and wow. startup coaching from me. Uh, you just have to find your own Chloe. That's right. You have in to a find different your own color Chloe. than seafoam yeah, green. Yeah, and in a different area in the Northeast, you know, maybe uh, Nantucket or maybe, um, you know, Washington, D.C. Who knows, Somewhere right? in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Well, the sky's the limit for Chloe and That's for right. you. And Jeff Gordon, thank you so much for coming on and telling us about photoboothplanet.com. You're welcome. Thank you for having me, Ann. Spend all night kissing and a bump is right here, then who else is missing? Got a little sidetrack to find my solution. I find a piece of the door, but it's also a metaphor. Things keep going to the grocery store, but mine just the same time. I skip right ahead to the last ride. The harder we look, the less we can see. Don't you know, you know, you know that you 